What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to think of all the possible ways to get silver in this game. If I missed any let me know in the comment section. I know some people struggle with getting silver so I'm here for you. Especially with tier 4 coming in a few weeks getting as much silver as possible doesn't hurt. So the first thing I can think of is go to contents list is chaos dungeons so this is one of the most primary way of getting silver so the more characters you have and the more chaos dungeons you run you are going to get a ton of silver no matter how hard you try to burn through it make sure you're doing your chaos dungeons every single day as long as you're not burning out of course and if you have more than six characters you can run those you might not care about the gear and whatnot but you will get silver for those. You might as well run them if you have the time. Now, some of you are just one character Andes. That's perfectly fine too. So there are other avenues of getting silver. Another way you can get silver is cubes. So as you're running your chaos dungeons, you will stumble across cube tickets. There is a pity system for this. So keep running those and you will eventually get some. Now, if you don't have any cube tickets or you're running out, Make sure you apply to a guild and donate so that you get bloodstones and you can redeem them at the bloodstone shop. With those cube tickets, you will be getting decent amount of silver as well. Alright, second on the list is Una's tasks. So there's daily and weekly. So daily, what people will say is to do low pain. So it's an island that is found over here. Let me type it right here really quickly right here boom so it let me zoom out a little bit so north fern uh lutera annika tordoik and if you center it right here it's right here low ping island if you go here you will be able to find these quest lines like special delivery arthetine special delivery vern special delivery shushire you want to do these three and i will show you guys how to do low ping i guess right now so why not so i will accept these Half the time, Vernon Shushire. Now, the thing is, I also set up all the Bifrots for them. So, Loping Island is where you go first. And then, as you're redeeming them, you will go to each one. Arthur Tyne here, North Vern for this Vern, and then Shushire, Frozen Sea for Shushire. So, let me show you guys. So, let's teleport to Loping Island real quick. And ta da! All right. So, as you redeem your Una's tasks, I saved one of my Bifrosts over here. So let me show you in the map right here where it's all green. So this is where the entrance is. So once you enter the island, you will come like around here. And this, the warehouse too is where you want to go. So here, since we redeemed three Una's tasks, all you have to do is press G once on each of them. So there's one here. There's one here. Okay, maybe I should equip uh, Spirit Absorption real quick. Let's do that actually. Spirit absorption so I can move faster. Boom. Like this. So I redeemed three from the console. Shushire shipping console, Burn shipping console, and Arthetine shipping console. So I've done that all. Now there's no more green. All good. So now it's telling us to go to the specific regions. So now I buy a frost to Arthetine first. It doesn't matter the order, but this is the order that I go with. Do it however you want to do, but this is just how you do low ping. It's very quick as long as you set up the Bifrost. So boom, I'm at Arthetine. So I am, okay, my computer's lagging. I am right here in Arid Path, right around this section near this um, fishing spot and the sea. So here you talk to Bacardi, Shift G, done. 33,000 silver, or uh, sorry, 66,000 silver because I have Una's Rested. 33,000 silver normally. For just a few clicks that's it and then you're going wait is there a catch no you just go do the same thing you know set up the bifrost for Vern. set up the bifrost for shushire shift g you get 30 to 60 000 gold depending on if you have rest bonus or not i think that's pretty convenient right you just you just teleport here and look let me show you again now I'm, <laughs> this is really this is the slow part this is the hard part is actually waiting for the npc to load and there we go. Shift G. Done. I got another 66,000 silver. 
So I can do the same thing with Shushire. Uh, and yeah, that's it. All right. The other thing I mentioned was weekly tasks in the Unas. So this was the dailies that we just showed you, the low paying. And now there's weeklies. And you'll notice rewards 46,000 silver for finishing a Chaos Dungeon. Uh, what is it, six times? Yeah, because each time gives you 10,000. So you need to finish Chaos Dungeon six times. You could do cubes, which we already said you should do Chaos Dungeons and cubes. So while you're doing your cubes and Chaos Dungeons, you're going to be getting extra silver anyway. So you might as well redeem these. There's also life skill that you can do here. And yeah, that's that's how you can get extra silver. Now, one thing also here is reputation status. So this is very similar to dailies, but um, or at least Unis tasks, but they have silver rewards attached to some of them. So what you want to do is type silver in the rewards, and you want to make sure you redeem everything here. So for example, here, th this is stuff that I haven't done. So Silmail Normalizer, we click this magnifying glass, and it will give you 30,000 with 20 required points, 60,000 silver with 50, and 8,500 Silmail Crystals, and 90,000 silver for 70 required points. And you'll see the Unas tasks that you need to do to get this. So make sure to check the reputation status tab as well. All right. We talked about Chaos Dungeons. We talked about Unas. We talked about cubes. And we kind of talked about the Bloodstone shop. So I did mention, where is the Vern Castle here? So I did talk about the Bloodstone shop to get cube tickets. But you can also get silver from them. So let me pause this real quick. So you'll, you're you're going to want to go here to the Sim Still Mail Bloodstone Exchange and redeem your bloodstones that you got from the guild contributions for silver. So let me pause real quick and I will get there and I will show you the shop. All right. So time traveled and now we are at the Still Mail Bloodstone Exchange. This can be found in most major cities. So you just go up to her and boom, as you can see right here, as long as you ha are in a guild and maximum of research level five, you can redeem all of these silver chests and they give you 60,000 here, uh, 20, 30 ish thousand here. So it, it, it all adds up. And this is just for one character. You can redeem this on all characters as long as you have bloodstones. But what I mentioned before is there's an entrance ent tick. But, but this is entrance ticket something material, I think. And this is where you get your cube tickets. For example, here, you can either have a chance of getting silver. So this is also a way to get silver, by the way. But you're going to hope to get tickets here, not silver. But if you get silver, I mean, it, it still gives you a decent chunk, right? So this make sure you're getting enough bloodstones as much as you can. Uh, other than that, Another thing you can get, so this is number five on the list, is Adventure Islands. So yes, if you go into Adventure Islands here, you can see that you can get silver. So it's not going to be a crazy amount of silver, but it is a way, and I'm making sure to cover every single way to get silver. So that's why I mentioned Adventure Islands. Other than that, also Primal Islands. So this is a more of a pvp kind of style but you don't actually use your skills you pick up guns and hammers and whatnot and you fight other people this has a very bad reputation because there are a lot of hackers in it so you probably won't get any of these top rewards because uh leaf stones have been very prioritized by people maybe maybe it's actually pretty good nowadays but right now it's pretty crap but anyways, if you scroll down to the bottom here, as long as you're placing rank 16 to 20, you can get 100,000 silver. I think that's pretty good. But I wouldn't recommend it because there are a lot of hackers there. But anyway, again, had to mention it. Let's move on to number seven. So unfortunately, this used to all be gold. But now it is silver. So just as an example, let's just click on... Maybe Aline. So rapport, Aline. You can see here ancient gold coin. As you're doing rapport and giving rapport items to the NPC, you will be able to unlock various rewards. So you can see here, if I get affection, I can get a hundred thousand silver here, twenty thousand silver for amicable, and 
15,000 silver for neutral. So make sure you're doing all your reports. This is just for one character or one NPC. You can do this for everybody. See, 15 here, uh, 10,000 silver here, 80,000 silver here. This is a very little. So, so this is why it's bad because this ancient gold coin used to be gold. So it used to actually say 10,000 gold to complete this, which would have been really great. But guess who ruined it? Bots. So that's why everything is silver now. But make sure you're doing your reports for silver. As Anyway, moving on to number eight and nine-ish is going to collectibles. So there's two masterpieces and sea bounties. So a masterpiece, if you go to the review reward info, you can see as you collect masterpieces, you can get a bunch of silver. Here is 300,000. Here is 500,000. Here is 1.3 million. And over here is 2 million. So you can get a pretty decent chunk of silver doing masterpieces. As well as masterpieces, you can get silver from sea bounties. So here you can get 100,000. Here 200,000. 400,000. Another 400,000. Uh, here is a million. And here is a 2 millioner. And is that it? Nope. There's a 10 million silver one here. If you collect 46 sea bounties, which is kind of hard to do, but if you can reach it to this point, this is a way to get 10 million silver. All right. The other thing, just really quickly, I know it's stupid. I know, I know, but I have to mention it just in case people don't know about this. The login events, especially this special login event, gives you 3 million free silver to redeem at any time as long as you log in day one so make sure if you haven't redeemed this i i know it's stupid but maybe there's one or two people out there that it'll reach and didn't know you can get three million silver here okay moving on is quests so yes make sure to do your quests especially the purple ones because most of the purple ones are important and i'll give you an example so for example uh let's check here so this is one quest you do, and you get 100,000 silver for it. This one gives you 37,000. Here is, oh, if if I click on this and I actually go to this continent, I just get free 100,000 silver. So make sure you're checking for all of these. And because sometimes you can say, oh, yeah, I already went to that continent. So why would it give me this? But you need to stand in a specific spot while going on a boat to that like sea uh, pier area in order to unlock it but so make sure you accepted every single quest of these and you completed it um yeah that's it for quests and now finally the final so those were 10 that i can think of and this one is kind of a eh, you know like highly not recommend is converting gold to silver so let me see if i can find it here where's the gold shop right here so if you go to the gold shop again found in any major city you will find the ability to convert your gold into silver now i would heavily recommend not to do this because gold is way more important and harder to get but if you go to this gold shop and go to exchange you can see that you can get 10,000 silver for a hundred gold, a hundred thousand silver for a thousand gold. If you're really, really desperate, or you are kind of a whale that doesn't really care about gold and you don't have any silver, this is an option for you. But again, I wouldn't recommend it here. I'll just do one, right? 100 gold spent, rip 100 gold in the chats, everybody. But here we go 10,000 silver. Yay. All right, that's it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. That was 10 plus 1 of all the ways I can think of to get silver. Let me know if there are any more that I've missed. Otherwise, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.